You want to say welcome to Goat Cabin Part 5? Welcome to Goat Cabin Part 5. <laughs> part 5 of our epic journey through the land of YouTube and uh, building things. Anyway, up our driveway here a little ways. And I can't remember if I, in the last video, what I did. But I know that the cabin is definitely a little further along. And as you can see, we got the goats now. So I can't remember if I had the, the garden uh, fenced in or not last video. But there's the, the rhubarbs really coming up. And then we transplanted some wild leeks. And uh, yeah, I got the gate on the garden back there. So anyway other things and here is the more or less completed goat cabin there's still one side that needs uh, chinking but so here's the here's how the door ended up we just got it you know little holes cut through there and just it's on uh, hinges and we put this up if we want them in there during the day. But or, anyway, that's the that's how the door works. And that's what we put up during the day if we want them in there and want them to be able to see out. But yeah, just uh, open it up like that. It's pretty heavy. Don't think any wolves are getting through there. Um, and then inside we a window as you can see and we still have not chinked this side I just got finished cutting the window this is a uh, plexiglass here so it's uh, pretty much I think it's guaranteed against breakage I don't know it's pretty good stuff it's also kind of high up you know it's about um, you know four and a half feet up there so they won't be able to headbutt it for a while at least those goats are pretty small but yeah we got all the others chinked we got some hay in here now water um, the hay loft is full, and you can go see it from all angles. There's that window. Just cut it out with the uh, chainsaw yesterday. Uh, anyway. Might do one more uh, video uh, once we get the other part chinked or something like that. But that's it for now. Bye.